Hi everybody, this is Miss Allison. I'm going to go over with you guys your math, your math lesson for today, Monday. And for today, you're gonna to be playing a game and it's going to be called Bacon Me Crazy instead of Making Me Crazy. So this one's a really silly game. It's addition and you're going to be adding with, within the sums up until 12. So you can get a sum no higher than 12, somewhere between one and 12, it will be your sums. And what you're going to do is you're going to need a pencil and a paper clip and it's gonna be like a spinner game. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And you can play this game by yourself is one way to do it. And another way to do it is if you have somebody to play it with you, you play it with a partner. If you do decide to play with a partner, you need to have a copy of the game board and your partner also needs to have a copy of the game board. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share my computer screen. I wasn't able to print it out this week. I'm still waiting for my order of new printer ink to come. So you guys are gonna see me sharing my screen so that you'll still see what it is you're gonna use. So I'm just gonna go over here to share my screen and show you my game board. And here it is. So the game is called Bacon Me Crazy instead of Making Me Crazy. I know he's color, little Mr. Bacon here. You don't have to make a color printout. A lot of the times I make black and white printouts. It just depends on what I feel like doing. And if I have a lot of ink and I'm not worried about it. So now if you're playing this game by yourself, you only need the one board, just the one game board. If you wanna play with a partner, print one out for you, print one out for them. With the pencil and the paper clip, so that's gonna be your spinners, and you're going to start, the directions even tell you, it says add two numbers, spin the spinners, add the numbers, and cover the sum. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil and your paper clip, the pencil goes in the middle of the spinner, so right here, if you can see my cursor moving, and you put the paper clip around the pencil point, and you flick it and give it a spin. <clears throat> The left spinner is the one you spin first. It has numbers one, two, three, and four. That's your first spin. So when you get, let's say I spun a two, that would be one of my add ends. Remember, an add end is the number that you add together in an addition equation. So that would be my first add end. And then I would come over here on my second spinner, put that pencil and paper clip on, give it a spin, and get my second add end. And let's say my second number ended up being seven. Okay, so then I would have to say, what's my equation going to be? 2 plus 7 equals, down here on the bottom are all your sums. There's two ways you can solve to get your answers. Really, there's three ways. You might know it in your brain. Okay, that's one way. And another way you can do it is you can do counting on. So since my equation was 2 plus 7, pretending, I would say the bigger number, not show it. I'm going to keep my hands together. I'm not going to show it. I'm going to say seven. That's my bigger number. And then I'm going to show two. And then I say counting on after seven, eight, nine. Okay. So two plus seven equals nine. So I could do, know it in my brain, mental, two plus seven is nine. I just know it. I can use my fingers for counting on, say the big, bigger number. Or if I don't want to do one of those two ways, I can go ahead and take out my a box of counters, whatever kind of counters you guys are using, coins, buttons, <clears throat> toys, pom-poms, Legos, whatever it may be, and I can get a group of two and a group of seven, and I can count them all together and find the sum that way. So there's really three different ways that you might be solving to get the sum. So after I find out my sum is nine, I'm gonna either, with a crayon, I can either color in one of the nine spaces and just color it in, like maybe a pink or a blue or something. I still wanna see the number. Or I can take like a counter, a little eraser, even like a little sticker, anything you want, and just cover up the sum on the game board. Now, if I'm playing with my partner, I'm not gonna take a turn now because I already had a turn. I got my first sum. I would give the turn to my partner and they would have a turn to spin both spinners, add and find their sum. Now, if I got to the point in my game where let's say the only one that I need left to cover up is like 11. And after I cover 11, I win the game. All my other ones are covered. If I keep spinning um, <clears throat> equations that don't give me the answer of 11, like if I said, 
three plus uh, three plus five, and maybe my sum ended up being eight. Well, I don't need eight. I already covered it. So I'm gonna have to say I lose a turn, and it goes to my partner to try. So you want to try to get your board covered up first if you're playing with your partner and whoever covers all their sums first will be the winner but if you don't have a partner to play with which is fine your only goal is to get all of your sums covered up and you have to keep spinning and making an equation until you can cover up all of those sums so this is addition practice i don't care how you guys decide to do it you can do it with your brains you can do it with your fingers you can do it with some counters that's up to you just have fun playing and try to get them all. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again on Tuesday.